Welcome to a special edition COVID-19 recording. Um, trying something a little bit different today. Um, what I want to talk about today though, however, is uh, some left hand rules that we use when we're talking about electrical theory, right? So left hand's over here. So we're going to use our left hand to describe some relationships between current flow and magnetic fields and conductors and generators and coils and things like that. Uh, so really useful tool when you're kind of trying to figure out how that all those electrical systems work together. So I really want to talk about three different left hand rules today. Uh, one for conductors, one for coils, and one for generation. Uh, so to start off, let's start with our left hand conductor rule. Okay, so left hand conductor rule. Well, I've got a conductor, right? Copper wire probably. Uh, something like that. I'm gonna have current flowing through that conductor, right? In AC, we know it's flip-flopping back and forth. DC kind of going one way. But we're taking, again, usually when we're talking electrical theory, we're talking at a snapshot in time. So let's just say that, you know, in this snapshot of time, current is flowing that direction, okay? No problem. If current is flowing that direction, we are gonna take our left hand, right? The thumb is gonna be the direction of current flow. So my thumb is flowing that way. Now, my fingers are gonna wrap around that conductor, right? So because current's flowing that way, my fingers wrap up and around, creating a, uh, like that. What that is, that represents the magnetic lines of flux that are generated around that conductor, right? We know when we pass current through a conductor, we generate a magnetic field. Those lines are just that magnetic field, right? Traveling from north to south, spiraling around that conductor. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, another way that we can see, often see this represented, if we are talking about, okay, well, here's my conductor, right? That's a cross-sectional area of the conductor. If our current is flowing into the page, right? So away from us, we would draw a T, right? Or a cross. It's meant to represent the back feathers on an arrow. So if you're looking back at an arrow, you're looking at the back of the arrow, the crosshairs, right? So if our current is flowing into the board, into the page, away from us, that would be, our thumb would be going into the page and our magnetic flux would wrap around like that. So we would see our magnetic flux circling around that way, right? We can have vice versa. If the current is flowing out of the page towards us, this would represent like the tip of the arrow coming at you if you're looking at that conductor. Right, if we have that thumb coming towards us and our fingers wrap around Magnetic flux wraps around in that opposite direction. All right, so that's our left hand conductor rule. Pretty common rule, and it's gonna come up again later, especially when we get into talking about how transformers build up magnetic fields and um, how motors generate torque. All right, Oop. so the next rule I wanna cover is the left hand coil or inductor rule. Right, so we know an inductor is just a coil of wire wrapped around a core. So let's say I have a core, right? Perfect, to take my conductor up and around wrap around that core. Awesome. So now what we're going to do, right, of course, is we're going to pump some current through that conductor, right? That's how we get a conductor, inductor to do anything. So let's say we're pumping the current that direction, right? So the current's going up and up behind and around and around like that. So now we're going to take that left hand, same left hand we used before. Uh, we only have one, it's a joke, um, right? Because our current is flowing that way, now with the coil rule, now our fingers are gonna go along with the conductor. So because my current is going up and around, 
My fingers are the current flow and the conductor wrapped around that core. My thumb is actually pointing to the magnetic north pole, right? So that would be basically an electromagnet, right? Magnetic north pole, which would make this the magnetic south pole, right? So that would, of course, when we energize this and have uh, current flowing, right? Generate a little bit of a magnetic field going north to south, right? So that's our coil rule, right? Which will come back again later on. Um, right, and again, we see this coil rule in a couple different places. So I'm gonna kind of bring this coil rule back here when I talk about a generator rule. But if we talk about generation, right? So generation of an alternating sine wave, right? As we get into motors and stuff too, but I know I have two or more poles, right? So what we do again is we'll take that conductor and we'll wrap it around. And then we'll bring it down to here. And we'll wrap it around this one. Right, and those will go back and connect to something, you know, a source, most likely. Awesome. So now if I apply that coil rule, right? Uh, so I'm gonna say, okay, at this moment in time, I'm pumping current this direction, okay? Well, I'm gonna push current through that conductor, right, wrapping around. Oh, that makes that guy right there my north pole, right? We're on board. Right, current's going around and around and around. Current's flowing this direction, coming, coming, coming. To here, now current's flowing again, around that way, which makes this down here my north pole, which would make this my south pole. Awesome. So what happens now, right, we've established magnetic poles, right? This could be a generator, it could be a motor, uh, any piece of electrical rotating equipment. Uh, so that's gonna generate a magnetic field, right? So flux going from north to south, just like that. Awesome. So we can build that field, and that kind of brings us to our last rule that we're gonna talk about in this video today, which is our left-hand generator rule. Right? So, I want to think about this rule for a minute. So how a generator works, right, is we're going to take a conductor, right, and we are going to rotate it through that magnetic field. So we're physically going to rotate it through that magnetic field, right, and we're going to get induction, right. We're going to induce a current onto this conductor because we get induction. We can induce a current anytime we have relative motion between a conductor and a magnetic field. So we have a magnetic field and we're gonna rotate this conductor and we're gonna create that relative motion and that's going to induce a voltage. All right, so our left hand generator rule. We have, we're gonna use three fingers for this one. Our thumb, our index finger, and our middle finger kind of sticking out like that. Our thumb is our relative motion. Our Index finger is going to be north to south in the magnetic field. And then our middle finger is going to be the direction current is going to be induced into the conductor. But before we apply this rule, I just want to talk about relative motion really, really quickly. So imagine, you know, there's two cars and they're both stopped at a stop sign, right? And I'm like, terrible drawer, right? Two cars stopped at a stop sign. You're sitting in this car right here. As this car begins to move forward, if you are right here, you feel like you are going backwards, right? It looks like that car 
it looks like you're moving and that car is standing still. Right? So this car starts moving. The relative motion is actually this direction, even though it's this car that's moving. So I want to talk about that here. Because our conductor is moving this way, the relative motion is actually that way. So we've got relative motion that way, right? Conductor's moving, relative motion of the conductor or magnetic field cutting that conductor is this way. So our thumb goes that way. Our index finger, we know, is north to south, so it's going to point straight down, right? And then our middle finger is our current, so it's actually coming out of the page towards us. So we can go, okay, that means in this case, we get the little arrowhead there. The current is coming out of the board or out of the page towards us. Uh, so that's our three conductor rule, or sorry, left hand rules. Uh, we covered a lot really, really quick, but um, yeah, kind of really important rules as we kind of move forward and explore the electrical theory behind these machines together. Thanks for watching.